Hey everyone. Today we going to be making a delicious and filling Malabar special snack, sweet chatapathi, where I have given an amazing twist to the usual filling. Let's jump right into the recipe. We'll begin by making the filling. For cheese filling, I heated one and a half tablespoon ghee in a pan on a medium to low heat, and added one third cup of farmer's cheese. You can use cottage cheese or ricotta cheese as well instead of farmer's cheese. Then added two tablespoon sugar. Add sugar as per your taste. This one was moderately sweetened. Then cook it for one to one and a half minutes, or until sugar melts completely. Now add in two to three tablespoon milk powder and mix well. Then switch off the flame and keep it aside. They will dry out as it cools down. Now for apple filling, I took two medium apple here. I peeled and chopped them. It was about one and a half cups. Then we need cashew nuts. I roughly chopped them, which was about quarter cup. Heat some more ghee in a pan. I used the same pan we used for cheese filling. Now let's fry our cashew. Add them to the ghee. When it lightly changes its color, add in chopped apple along with one and a half tablespoon of sugar. Again, add sugar as per your preference. Remember, apple also has the sweetness. Then goes in half teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Don't hesitate to add cinnamon powder. Both apple and cinnamon really pair very well. Then a pinch of salt as well to balance the sweetness. Then mix everything well. Now close with a lid and cook apple for about two to three minutes or until lightly soft. Then take it off from the stove and keep them also aside. Now we need to make batter for our chatpathri crepes. For that, in a bowl, I took quarter cup milk, one third cup water, one egg, and salt as per taste, and mix it with a wire whisk. Then goes in half cup of all-purpose flour that is maida. and make batter by mixing really well without making any lumps then we need 1 teaspoon oil as well i added one more tablespoon of water just to thin it up add only if required this is the consistency we are looking for you can also use food processor or blender to make the batter now for making crepe Heat a non-stick pan and pour about three tablespoons of batter. Spread them evenly and make a round crepe. Remember, your crepe should be a little bigger than the pan you're gonna assemble the chatipatiri. So make them according to the pan available with you. Cook both the sides and take it off. Make the crepe with the rest of the batter the same way. I got six crepes out of this batter. It totally depends on the size of the pan you used. In another bowl, I took one egg, two tablespoon milk. You can use water as well instead of milk. Then little salt and two teaspoon of sugar. Then quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder or cinnamon powder. That is optional. Beat them well and keep them aside. We'll take it while we assemble the chatapathi. Now our cheese and apple filling is cooled down. We'll mix it together. Now we'll assemble the chatty patiri. Brush some ghee or melted butter in a pan where you gonna assemble the chatty patiri. As I told before, it should be smaller than the crepe you made. Then dip the crepe in a prepared egg mixture and place it on the greased pan.
Then I divided the cheese and apple mixture to four equal portions. Then take one portion and spread it on the first creep. Then take another creep, dip it in egg mixture and keep it on top of previously layered apple cheese filling. Repeat the process until you finish apple and cheese filling. That is 4 layer of filling and 5 creep layers. Our topmost layer will be the creep. Now pour any remaining egg mixture on very top of the final creep. Then cover the pan with a lid. Then take them onto the stove top and keep the flame on low as possible. Then cook it for 13 to 15 minutes. It totally depends upon the flame and pan you used. Now we need to flip the chattipadiri. For that keep a plate on top of the pan and revert it like this. Then put back the previous top portion down like this. Then cook the other side for about 2 to 3 minutes. Then switch off the flame. Now take our chattipadiri from the pan and cool down completely. Here you go, our chattipadiri is ready. Cut them into your desired shape. Enjoy with a cup of tea. They are really filling snack. You can even make this ahead and enjoy for your breakfast as well. Little crunch from cashew, texture of apple and peda like cheese filling was an amazing combination. Please try this filling, I am sure you are going to love it. It was a different taste, I am sure you are going to make it again and again. Thanks a lot for watching, see you soon with another recipe.